Hi everyone, welcome to New Egg TV. My name is Paul, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing, an overview, and some benchmarks on this PCI Express SSD. This is the OCZ Revo Drive 3, and this is the 240 gigabyte version. I should also mention that the Revo Drive 3 is available in a 120 gigabyte version as well as a 480 gigabyte version. Feature wise, those drives are going to be the same. Speed wise, you will generally get more speed from the higher capacity drive just by virtue of the way the uh, flash memory is set up along with the SSD controllers. That being said, some specs on this drive. It is PCI Express Generation 2 X4, so you need an X4 PCIe slot open on your motherboard in order to install this, at least to achieve the maximum speed. Uh, the reason why you would go with a PCI Express SSD versus a more typical serial ATA SSD is that you get up to three times the uh, speed from a PCI Express connected drive such as Revo Drive 3 as compared to SATA 3, 6 gigabit per second, which is the fastest SATA interface that's available right now. You also get OCZ Virtual Controller Architecture version 2.0, which enables trim and smart monitoring, monitoring for this SSD. You also get the OCZ Superscale Storage Accelerator, which facilitates scalable performance and also minimizes your host CPU burden, which is a fantastic feature for uh, using this in something like a server. Uh, here on the back, there's some more information, and if you want to pause and read through this, you can, but essentially some more information there. This is a high-performance drive, so um, you can use it in, in, say, for instance, a gaming rig, um, but it is much uh, better applied in a server. Uh, if you're a content designer doing multimedia, uh, AutoCAD, anything like that that requires a lot of speed from your storage. And here's a quick unboxing to see what comes along with the SSD. So inside here, you get a sticker that says my SSD is faster than your hard drive, which is very true. SSDs are faster than mechanical hard drives. Uh, you also get a driver and manual disk here. Uh, I should mention that this is a bootable SSD, so um, if you're installing your operating system, you can uh, do the F8 drivers um, to load up your uh, default drivers from this disk prior to installing your operating system, such as Windows. And uh, for our purposes, when we're doing testing, we're going to be testing this uh, just as an add-on drive by itself. But uh, there's the SSD itself and uh, foam packaging. That's about all you get in the box. Let's take a closer look at the Revo Drive 3. So here's the Revo Drive 3 SSD itself. Just wanted to point out some of the features here on the card. Uh, first off, you have this heat sink right there. It's black and uh, under there is the OCZ uh, specially made storage controller. Uh, it handles uh, stuff like command queuing and balance algorithms and that is going to offload some of the thinking that would otherwise be handled by your CPU which will allow your CPU to focus on other things besides storage. Uh, this will feed data over to these two Sandforce controllers here. This is the Sandforce controlled SSD. These are both Sandforce SF2281 chips right there, so two of those that both feed to all of these banks of NAND flash memory. The NAND flash memory that you see here is 25 nanometer MLC Micron manufactured NAND flash. It is asynchronous and uh, you'll notice here that there are 16 chips on this side and if I flip this over there's another 16 chips on the other side. There are 8 gigs on each NAND chip and that gives you 256 gigabytes total. Uh, you will probably note that this is a 240 gigabyte SSD and the reason that you get 240 is that there's an extra 16 gigabytes of data that's used for functions such as over provisioning by, that, by the Sandforce controllers. Finally, uh, flipping back over to this side, this is just a single slot PCI Express uh, card. They've uh, punched some holes there through the back slot to allow for some additional airflow with the, drive, uh, with the SSD installed. And that pretty much wraps it up for our hardware overview. Let's move back over to our benchmark testing. So I've gone ahead and installed our Revo Drive 3 into our test bed right over here. Uh, bear in mind you do need at minimum a four speed PCI Express slot open in your case. It only takes up a single slot. And uh, right now our test bed is an X79 motherboard by Asus, the Asus Sabertooth X79 uh, 3960X uh, CPU. And uh, let's go ahead and run some benchmarks. So here are some benchmarks result, uh, benchmark results for you guys. I ran three different benchmarks, starting off with Crystal Disk Mark, which is a free downloadable uh, disk benchmark for hard drives and SSDs. Uh, this is running in the default mode, which uses incompressible data, which means that all the data being written to the drive cannot use any of the drive's compression capabilities at all. But still here we have some very impressive numbers, 361 megabytes per second on the read, 
for sequential read, uh, 289 megabytes per second for sequential writes. Uh, the 4K numbers here, 26 megabytes per second and 68 megabytes per second for read and write, respectively. Then ha down here, the QDEF32 stuff, which is really where you're going to get the greatest benefit going with something like a Revo drive. And uh, there we hit 217 and 280. And uh, if you look over here on the actual detailed results, you can see input output operations per second. And on those QDEF32 tests, we hit 53,000 and 68,000. Again, this is incompressible data. Uh, Crystal Disk Mark also has a compressible data mode, so we sw switched over to that. And here you can see the um, compression capabilities of those Sandforce controllers really giving it a big boost. So um, for reads, we hit 716 megabytes per second sequential read, 676 megabytes per second sequential write. Uh, 4K tests jumped up to 32 and 75, respectively. Uh, 4K QDEP32 hit 248 and 534, which is just a, a massive number there for 4K QDEP32. And uh, over here on the right, and uh, one of the big reasons why I do these benchmarks is to validate the numbers that we see uh, advertised by the manufacturer and there we can see validation of our input output operations per second we hit over 130,000 which particularly if you're doing something like a server is is just really 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 useful uh, server use for these types of drives you're gonna be getting a, a big boost particularly over mechanical and even typical uh, SATA controlled SSDs Moving over to AS SSD, which is a SSD specific benchmark. Uh, again, this is very similar to the Crystal Disk Mark test in that it does use incompressible data. Uh, we hit 396, just shy of 400 megabytes per second on the read, uh, 271 uh, megabytes per second on the sequential write. Uh, the 4K 64 threaded test here, 235 and 259. Again, uh, there's some, some massive numbers and uh, Definitely a significant increase over what you see from SATA controlled drives. Uh, here on the input output operations per second, we have 60,000 and 66,000 respectively for the read and the write, and an overall score of 791, which blows any single SATA, SATA connected drive out of the water, I must say. Uh, AS SSD also has a compression benchmark. I did run that as well, um, and just to show you guys. That here, um, the chart sort of moves up over time here on the, on the left side, you can see the megabytes per second. Uh, so for read on the compression test, uh, we just peaked at just over 900 megabytes per second on the read, and uh, the write gave us just over 800 megabytes per second. Finally, we ran Atto. Let me just pull that up. Now, this is a very popular benchmark. It's used by a lot of uh, manufacturers of both SSDs and hard drives and uh, here we can really see the drive hit a lot of its performance so they uh, use various transfer size and total lengths uh, they go sequentially and they use larger tests uh, over as you can see as the numbers go up that's larger tests being run and uh, here we can see some very impressive write speeds uh, for the QDEPTH 4 test um, which is the default now we hit 979 megabytes per second actually 984 uh, was our peak right there with the two megabyte test. Uh, and then here for rates, we hit 886 megabytes per second. Now, if you really want to show a lot of the peak performance of the drive, and this is a, a setting that uh, a lot of SSD and hard drive manufacturers use, is Q-Depth 10. Uh, greater Q-Depth really allows the drive to hit more of its peak performance. And then here we hit just shy of a gigabyte per second, 986 on the read, and 888 megabytes per second on the write. And that is going to wrap it up for this video. Once again, this has been the OCZ Revo Drive 3 PCI Express SSD, and this is the 240 gigabyte model. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed today's video, please head over to our Newegg YouTube channel, and don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.